live with the news where you live. 8 News starts now. We begin with your Capital Connection tonight. A push in the Virginia General Assembly to make school lunches free in the Commonwealth. You're watching 8 News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. This comes as one research group found that Virginia students racked up more than $44 million in school meal debt. Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander joins us live from the state capitol. Tyler, what would this bill do exactly? Well, Eric Deanna, good evening. This bill would require that all public schools in Virginia provide free breakfast and lunch to all students. Currently, only schools in low income areas can provide free meals to every student. I was just deeply concerned that I, that our kids were suffering um, and that nobody was talking about it. Prince William County resident Adele Settle was driving home from work one day when on the radio she heard something that worried her. I heard about this little boy who uh, had gone through the lunch line and he got to the end and he tried to pay for his lunch, but his account didn't have any money in it. And so the lunch lady took his meal and threw it in the trash. Settle, a mom herself, decided to do something about it. She started a charity to raise money to pay off school meal debt in her home town. Now she's advocating for a bill to require public schools to provide breakfast and lunch for all students free of charge. And make sure that the child's fed, the parents are saving up to $1,000 per year per student, and it cuts the administrative burden of the schools. Currently, only schools in low income areas receive federal money to provide free meals to students. This bill would use state funding to cover the rest. Opponents say they're concerned about the $346 million price tag. At $75,000 a teacher, you can hire 2,000 plus teachers a year to actually teach our poor and underserved children. The bill's author, State Senator Danica Rome, says because schools often don't recoup meal debt, her proposal will allow local school districts to actually invest more in education. Meanwhile, Settle says it's about ensuring every student is at their best in the classroom. If a child is hungry, they're just not going to be able to focus. They're not going to be able to think about all the things that they're trying to learn. So I want to make sure that every kid in Virginia has that opportunity so that they can go forward and, and succeed and, and achieve all of their dreams. Now, Eric Deanna, a similar proposal in the House of Delegates has already died this session in an appropriations subcommittee. Live at the State Capitol, Tyler Englander, 8 News.